नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल यू नो द यस्टर ईयर कांग्रेस वे बैक माई यंगर डेज एन ऑल यू सी पीपुल said that congress is a very difficult regional parties would say that congress is a very difficult party to work with very very difficult party to work with high handedness high command of congress was high command literally high command so that was how people viewed congress also congress was controlled by a few people at one point in time they said gandhi is controlled congress and you know but it was controlled by a few people so that was congress before ठीक है ना ना वॉट इज इंटरेस्टिंग इज भारतीय जनता पार्टी आफ्टर इट केम टू पावर द वे इट डिड इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन इट इज स्टार्टिंग टू रेप्लीकेट एक्जैक्टली वॉट कांग्रेस वॉज वेन इट वॉज इन एब्सोल्यूट पावर इट इज रेप्लीकेटिंग एक्जैक्टली एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फिनोमिना लेट्स डीप डाइव इन टू दिस फिनोमिना एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट लेट्स गेट राइट इन टू दिस शो So the question we ask tonight is: uh, Is BJP going the Congress way? Now, what I mean by that is, see, Congress earlier on, when Congress was all powerful, when Congress was dominating India, was seen as a party that was not too friendly with regional parties. Regional parties were scared of Congress. Regional parties were scared to align with Congress. Not the way it is currently that there is no EDIT and all that happened, but all the same, they 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 never had a comfortable relationship with Congress. and the fact is congress was seen as a party that was dominated by a few people the gandhi family and maybe one or two people around them at that point in time this was congress now this sounds deja vu because after 2014 bharatiya janata party also sounds exactly the same exactly the same of course the methodology used to control regional parties are different like i told you but it sounds the same the end result is uh, sounding the same so is bharatiya janata party changing into a congress now there is another fact to it the fact is that attitude of congress or that characteristics of congress actually brought down congress so is bjp also headed the same path now let me give you some example i am going to go uh, randomly but i'll give you some parties that have left uh, nda from 2014 and there are a lot of them so i may miss out some also but i will try and cover most of it assam gana parishad quit nda haryana janhit congress quit nda mdmk quit nda then dm dk quit nda pmk all from tamil nadu quit nda this uh, superstar pavan kalyan's party from telangana jsp quit nda revolutionary socialist party quit nda that's from kerala janadhipatya rashtriya sabha again from kerala quit nda swabhimani paksha maharashtra quit nda hindustan awam morcha bihar quit nda telugu desam chandrababu naidu quit nda the naga peoples front quit nda gorkha janmukti morcha quit nda bjp quit nda rashtra lok samta party quit nda vip quit nda that's from bihar again jammu and kashmir pdp that is uh, pdp quit nda and uh, the bigger parties bigger splits and uh, if you say um, very bad splits very bad breakups as they call it bad breakups were sad the uh, the shiromani akali dal now they say that they may come back or whatever but shiromani akali dal quit nda nitish kumar quit nda uh, like i said uh, uh, aidmk is now quitting uh, nda and most importantly shivasena see these are parties who are with them in nda for 25 27 years Shivasena and Bajap Bharatiya Janata Party alliance went up to 25 27 years Shivasena parted their ways from uh, with NDA of course now half Shivasena has gone back to NDA now one doesn't know what is the status of which is the real Shivasena which is the false Shivasena but the fact is Shivasena that is Uddhav Bala Saheb Thakre version has quit NDA and they quit Shivasena as a whole had quit NDA 14th November 2019 they had quit NDA when Shivasena was one so that's the status see <clears throat> most of the parties who were with nda if you look at from kashmir to kanyakumari most of the parties regional parties who were with nda did not their power in their region did not grow with nda in fact it came down shivasena was almost powerless 
in uh, Maharashtra, at least that is what Uddhav Thakre says. It was almost rendered powerless in Maharashtra after they tied up with Bharatiya Janata Party. See, before, during the NDA, when Atal Bihari Vajpayee was the Prime Minister and Bala Sahib Thakre was running Shiv Sena, Shiv Sena would have their Chief Minister in Maharashtra. While they would support uh, NDA government and Bharatiya Janata Party Prime Minister in centre, they would have their Chief Minister in Maharashtra. That was taken away. In fact, according to Uddhav Bala Sahib Thakre, major portfolios were taken away from them. So long and short is, and this is the same thing that Akali Dal had to also say. That somewhere down the line, while they had their chief minister and all of that, but somewhere down the line, they were rendered powerless. They were, their power was being sucked away from them. Same thing Nitish. The power was sucked away from them other than empowering Nitish. While again, let me tell you, BJP made him the chief minister, but other than empowering him, Nitish and his team felt that no, they were actually taking away his power. So end of the day, each of these regional parties had a feeling that in the next 5 years or 10 years, they will be obliterated. They will not exist. They will not have their identity. And look at Shiv Sena. What happened? Shiv Sena decided to, to part ways because Uddhav Thakre wanted the chief ministership. Uh, BJP didn't want to give the chief ministership. They, they, they split and Shiva Sena as is, is gone, over, finished, finito. So the point is, this is what worries every uh, other uh, regional parties. Secondly, of course, this whole thing about central agencies, whole thing about central agencies coming and, and, and raiding and, 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 and jail and all of that. See, that also is worrying these uh, political parties. So coupled with this, it seems working with Bharatiya Janata Party is like working with fire. Unless and until you have no choice, unless and until you are desperate, unless and until the India Alliance now or the Congress earlier could, could harm you uh, in, the, in the elections, you rather stick to yourself or go against uh, Bharatiya Janata Party or if uh, central agencies are not behind you, you would rather want to be on your own other than joining NDA. This is the current feeling of most of the regional parties. If you have no choice, then you go and get into NDA. Now, parties like Bahujan Samaj Party, Mayawati, you see, while they have not merged into NDA or joined NDA, but they are kind of fence-sitting because they've got a lot to worry. So, they are not going to jump to India Alliance, but they will neither jump to uh, Bharatiya Janata Party's NDA for the simple reason that they too are scared. That, you know, uh, they may they may become another Ramdas Athavle who almost is almost merged into the Bharatiya Janata Party and uh, NDA. So that's the problem. That's the problem we are seeing. There are no independent strong regional parties they, that are going with the NDA. Now, this is one. Possibly because NDA or Bharatiya Janata Party now has become so powerful that... Uh, Anything, there is a line drawn, any party going slightly above that popularity line in their region, they either are dropped or they are finished, obliterated. That's what normally happens. So that's why regional parties may be scared. This is point number one. Achha, point number two, I want to say is let us look inwards. Let us look inwards. Remember that line I said, the line of, line of power, where anybody going above that line of power is always seen as dangerous and uh, then, uh, you know, things happen to them. Now, this is not really only about outsiders, is it? It's also about insiders. Once upon a time, LK Advani was seen as a contemporary that was, they were against, uh, I mean, he was not very comfortable with Narendra Damodar Das Modi's face as a uh, prime ministerial candidate. And we all saw what happened to L.K. Advani. Let's talk about Nitin Gadkari. Let's talk about Rajnath Singh. Let's talk about Yogi Adityanath. Yogi Adityanath, one, or, one knows that there were uh, bureaucrats from J Gujarat who went in uh, to, uh, to Uttar Pradesh. Uh, there were rumors that this, this, uh, this bureaucrat Sharma who was known to be very close to Mr. Nar Narendra Modi and Amit Shah would possibly you know, take over as Deputy Prime Minister or some very important position. So all these were seen. Y Yogi Adityanath was obviously not happy with it. So... Even Yogi Adityanath, one saw that there was certain amount of uh, 
certain amount of discomfort between the, the, the high command, the top power and Yogi Adityanath. Same is the case with Devendra Fadnavis. Oh, Devendra Fadnavis, his basis was me Paratyain. The split in uh, Shiva Sena Bharatiya Janata Party was because uh, Devendra Fadnavis insisted that he wants to be the chief minister and they refused to allow uh, uh, Uddhav Thakre to be the chief minister. And uh, the fact is, uh, the rest is history. But the same Devendra Fadnavis was made into a deputy CM and now not just the deputy CM, now he is one of the two deputy CMs. So, somewhere down the line, his power is rele relegated and there is an obvious uh, belief in the political circles that things are not very good with between him and Mr. Amit Shah. So, Devendra Fatnavis, Vasundra Raja Sindhya. Oh, that's the talk in the political circles. When I was talking about uh, Rajasthan elections, we were talking more in terms of Gelot and uh, Pilot. Now, Gelot and Pilot seems to be getting along. The problem seems to be Vasundra Raja and uh, the High Command. So, that's the problem and that is directly affecting Rajasthan. Directly affecting Rajasthan. The fact that there is no proper chief ministerial candidate, which otherwise it would have assumed that it is Vasundra Raja. There is no proper chief ministerial candidate till date. Tomorrow it may happen. Till date, there is no uh, proper chief ministerial candidate also means that somewhere down the line, even, even there is a problem. The problem between the high command and a, and a senior leader. B.S. Yadurappa, we all saw that. We all saw that. B.S. Yadurappa during Karnataka. B.S. Yadurappa, like I told you before, I told you months before the election, he is not batting with his full potential. He was soft peddling. He was soft peddling throughout the election. So the fact remains that somewhere down the line, what Congress was is what Bharatiya Janata Party is getting. Bharatiya Janata Party has got Narendra Modi and Amit Shah as the top uh, two leaders uh, and uh, anybody who crosses a line, a line of popularity is not seen favorably and those people, whether it's a, it's a regional party or it's a party leader within the Bharatiya Janata Party is not seen, is not seen uh, favorably and there are there are ways and means that uh, life s starts becoming difficult for that party or for that particular leader. So this is the point I wanted to make uh, today. This is the, the, the story I wanted to talk to you today. Rajasthan seems to be in a limbo. Rajasthan doesn't have a leader. It is fighting a leaderless uh, 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 election uh, currently. And this really is not going for uh, the... Bharatiya Janata Party and its campaign in Rajasthan. My colleague uh, will be doing a, a full-fledged report on, on, on uh, Rajasthan and what's happening in Rajasthan and the rallies that Vasundara Raje and others are having in Rajasthan. My colleague is doing uh, a full-fledged report, so I'm not going to get into a deep dive into that. But uh, yeah, I mean, broadly, this is what the scene is. Till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at 10 p.m. Namaskar.